So you are considering a move to Tarpon Springs, Florida. Well, this video is going to cover a lot of the things that make Tarpon Springs special. And hopefully it's gonna tell you all of the things that I actually love about Tarpon Springs. And I would think that maybe those would be attractive to you as well. I've already done a video on the map of Tarpon Springs so you can see the distance to the beaches, all of the things that might help you make a decision about moving to Tarpon Springs. But in this video, I'm just gonna talk about five things that I think make Tarpon Springs attractive. And if you're considering a move to the Tampa Bay area, I would love to help you out. I'd love to answer any questions that you have and help you get into the right place for you. My name is Dennis Poulet. I'm a real estate agent here in Tampa Bay. But regardless of whether you come with me or not, I would still love to help you, but give me a call, send me a text, or send me a message here on the internet, and I would love to talk with you about Tampa Bay. So let's talk about the reasons why I believe Tarpon Springs is an incredible place to live. The first one is the cuisine and the culture. Tarpon Springs has a Greek heritage. There's no doubt about it. As soon as you read anything about Tarpon Springs, you read about the Greek culture, you read about the Greek heritage of the people who live in Tarpon Springs. And along with that come the festivals, come the cuisine, along with that comes the idea and the, the feel of Greece. And I visited Greece a while ago and I remember that it was a laid back kind of a place. And that's the exact feel that you get when you come to Tarpon Springs. You've got the culture of the sponge docks, you've got the culture of the Greek heritage, and of course you've got the delicious food and all of the festivals. You've got Epiphany that comes up every year on January 6th. You've got the giant Greek Orthodox church that's right there and it's a beautiful architectural masterpiece. And just all of the stuff that comes with the Greek culture and the Greek cuisine. Now that is what you get when Tarpon Springs comes first to mind. The second thing that I love about Tarpon Springs is the coastal recreation. If you love boating or fishing or kayaking or doing anything near the water, the Gulf of Mexico is right there and you can get in your kayak and you can go all over the place. You can get in your boat, you can go fishing, you can do all kinds of things right there in Tarpon Springs. But then whenever you talk about the location of Tarpon Springs, Tarpon Springs is very close to any of those coastal recreational things. You can get to Clearwater Beach fairly quickly. You can get to Dunedin Beach, which I've already said multiple times is one of my favorite places to go. And you can get to the springs up in the central part of the state fairly quickly. So the coastal recreation part of living in Tarpon Springs is one of the things that I think makes it an incredible place to live. Okay, number three, and I know there are gonna be some people who watch this video and can't believe what I'm about to tell you, but number three is the cost of living. Now, according to a website called Numbio, the cost of living in Tarpon Springs is about 9% lower to live in Tarpon Springs than it costs to live in Tampa, and it's 17% lower to live in Tarpon Springs than it is to live in Miami. So you get a relatively lower cost of living in Tarpon Springs. Now, I'm not saying that Tarpon Springs is cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but I am saying that Tarpon Springs, when you compare it to some of the other places in Florida, some of the other resort type places in Florida, it's a lower cost of living than those places. So make sure you check out the cost of living in Tarpon Springs as opposed to the cost of living in some of the other places in the Tampa Bay area. The fourth thing that I would say is a pro of living in Tarpon Springs is the community. And it kind of goes along with the culture, but the community, it's a tight knit kind of a community. There's a lot of things that happen at the sponge docks. There are a lot of things that happen in downtown. It's just kind of a smaller feel than some of the other places in the Tampa Bay area. If you go, for example, into Tampa, it's kind of a larger, more hectic kind of a place. Tarpon Springs being on the coast is a little bit more laid back and it's got a lot more festivals. There's a lot of art that happens. There's a lot of uh, weekend, you know, kind of things that happen and events and activities that you can get involved with. And Tarpon Springs has a little bit of that small town feel with its quaint downtown 
and with the uh, idea of being a smaller part of the Tampa Bay area. And number five is its closeness. Now, I know I've said that Tarvin Springs isn't really, really close to Tampa, but if you got to get to Tampa, you can get to Tampa. If you want to go to a Bucks game, you can go to a Bucks game. If you want to go see the Lightning play hockey, you can get there. You're pretty fairly close to St. Petersburg. You can get there to watch some baseball, but Tarpon Springs is pretty close to a lot of things. So you're not so crammed into the downtown area of Tampa, but you're also not too far away if you need to get to those places. There's two airports within fairly easy driving distance to Tarpon Springs. And so the closeness of Tarpon Springs to some of the major intersections, the major areas of the Tampa Bay area also make it a great place to live. So there you have it, my five reasons to live in Tarpon Springs, the culture, the coastal recreation, the cost of living, the community, and the closeness to the rest of the Tampa Bay area. Now, if you are interested in living in Tarpon Springs and want to chat or have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I would love to talk to you all about living in Tarpon Springs or living in Tampa Bay in general. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in this one right here, which I have no idea which video I'm putting here, but I want to see you in that one. See you later.